We'll soon look at the definition of a field, but before we do that, let me give you some examples. The real numbers form a field. The rational numbers form a field. The complex numbers also form a field. And in fact, if you just take the numbers zero and one, they form a field as long as one plus one is zero. That's because we cannot have two. Two is not part of the set. And if you define addition this way, where zero plus one is still one, zero plus zero is zero, and one plus one is zero, and multiplication is as usual, then what you get is actually a field, and this field is usually denoted as GF two. The definition of a field is quite a mouthful, and we won't go too deep into the topic. But there is one thing that I ask you to do before you learn the definition of a field. I ask you to forget about subtraction and division. So what that means is you only have addition and multiplication. So those are the only two operations that we have. But we are going to make up for the loss of the two operations by introducing the notions of additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. And knowing these notions is crucial to understanding how we can have fields that involve objects that are not numbers. Let A be an element of some field. An additive inverse is simply an element B such that A plus B equals B plus A equals zero. So B is an additive inverse of A. And it turns out that there can only be one additive inverse for each element. For example, if you look at the rational number two over five, what is its additive inverse? Well, remember that it has to be a number. In this case, a rational number, such that if you add that number to this number here, you get zero, and that number has to be minus two over five. And what about in GF two? Remember that this field has only two elements, zero and one. So the additive inverse of one is going to be one because one plus one is zero in this field. So there is no negative sign here, as you see, because we don't have any negative numbers in GF two. What about multiplicative inverse? Suppose you have an element a that is not zero. A multiplicative inverse of a is an element b such that a times b is the same as b times a and equals one. So b is. A multiplicative inverse of a. So if you are looking at the rational numbers, the multiplicative inverse of two over five will be five over two, because if you multiply the two together, you get one. Subtraction can be viewed as adding the additive inverse. If you look at a minus b, that can be written as a plus the additive inverse of b. As for a divided by b. That can be written as a times the multiplicative inverse of b, usually denoted by b superscript minus one. So we haven't lost subtraction and division, but it's important that when one studies fields, one looks at only two operations: addition and multiplication, and the existence of additive inverses and multiplicative inverses.